Today's session will be not focusing on the completion of the binary importer because I've hit a bit of a roadblock with that. And that is the fact that I can't get, uh, say, external data or like interesting data that's not resource or component data into uh, the engine in the way I want to. Because so currently, right now, if I go into, let's say I'm loading a file, I'm loading a mesh, or I'm loading an image, or I'm loading a whatever. If I go into the IMX uh, library for YAML and go to the importer, it's, you know, it's uh, looking through the file system for that file, and if it finds it, it returns the file path, which is, you know, all well and good, because so far, the only... Uh, you know, uh, storage mechanism that I've had has been the YAML one, which had, which is, you know, uh, organized based on the file system. So I've always had, you know, entity data, resource data, some other, you know, index data. And the, then I would have a, another directory for external data, which would be like raw files, a raw FBX file, the raw mesh image shader file. So that would be fine. You know, I, I could go through this importer, find the external file, return that path, and that path will be returned to the shader loader or the, in this case, the model loader. And, you know, that'd be fine. You give the file path, it, it has uh, the ability to open that file and do whatever. However, that's no longer going to work anywhere near as well as it has so far because the binary file specification, pattern, whatever, doesn't have, doesn't give us the ability to do that. Because like giving the file path, the only file path that will be available for like one large binary file or one large archive binary file is going to be just, um, is just going to be the one file. And that file is going to include the index data, the component data, the resource data. And then currently at the back of that file will be like the, 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 the currently copies of these files in one larger file. So passing that file path, I, I mean, I could do so, no, no, no. Is, you know, returning that file and then having like inside of these individual importers for, for let's say the mesh or for the image, a loader or the shader loader or any other kind of weird loader that's not really going to work i don't want to have copies of how to be able to parse the binary file everywhere what i want to do or what i'm you know going to be doing in the future from this point on is going to be passing back let's say uh, a buffer and the length of that buffer so what uh, the intention is to use a memory map file where i'm going to be paying you know, passing in, uh, well, like I said, a buffer and the length of that buffer. Luckily, most competently made libraries will have the ability to load files or load content from memory. So, like, if I check this, import file, yeah, import the file from memory. We have the buffer and the length of that buffer. Fantastic. Unfortunately, there's still some other interesting things that I'm going to have to be doing. For one... After uh, the IMAX library has returned, let's say, the pointer, the buffer, once it's returned the buffer, I don't know when exactly to free it. Or I, like, I don't want to have to deal with that, you know, manually freeing content here, especially since I don't actually know how I acquired it. Like, it may be the case that like it's a memory map file or it could be like content that was generated through some other method. And I don't want to, again, I don't want to have like as part of it, you know, the, you know, the end libraries such as this to be dealing with that stuff. That's not, you know, that's, that's not going to scale and that's not going to, not going to work. So I need to kind of have like a third, basically I'm going to have to kind of do some kind of recreation of let's say the standard shared pointer which has you know extra ability you know some extra gazebos on the back which can you know deal with you know was this at, is this just only in memory or is this a memory map file or something else and especially again i'm going to have to deal with the fact that i 
if I'm me if I'm memory mapping a file, especially if I'm memory mapping the binary file, the binary, you know, the exported binary content file, I don't want to have a whole bunch of different file, you know, f opens on the same file. I want to open it once, have it mapped once, and then just like just pass pointers around. And then once all of those have been you know released, then unmap the file and free and close the file. And this, presumably the same thing would be happening almost here. I'm not exactly sure what. Because, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So to accomplish that, I need a new type. I'm going to need, and I don't want to do it here, actually, because this, like, what the what I'm going to be do, making changes to, which is, you know, finding an external file here, and the current set of loaders is, you know, this is all out, non-autogen from docs kind of based stuff, like imported stuff. So I'm going to actually go to the main one. Okay, that the... Uh... Memory map files content, something like this. Let's update the submodule so it's in line. Great. <clears throat> Let's uh, build the stuff. And I will begin by first uh, re remembering how I'm supposed to actually memory map a file. So rather than f open, I believe this is just like plain old like uh, it's not like file star. It's not f open. It's like a just an integer, I believe, where you get I feel like you just pass in like a file descriptor rather than that. equals open. Oop. This open sixty four. Mm, okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure. Whatever. So I'll, you know, this would be like the file name. So let's say this is from the uh, root of the whatever. So we'll just kind of open uh, something like pi.yaml. We'll do that. It, at least the first, yeah, it, at least the first line has got something. And then we have oh, read only, I believe. And I don't know where that's from. I need uh, it's a C base, so it's file control. Yes. 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 So I'm opening the file. It's going to be that. Now to memory map a file. Hmm. <clears throat> I am going to be okay. I need like a no. This is going to be you know the P data buffer. Yeah, no pointer. That's great. So P data equals memory map. I need to remember where it's from. Man and man because it's a POSIX. So system. That one, and man, memory manage memory, something like that. I think memory map. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, okay, the first address. This is the address we want file mapped into. Okay, so this would be like if I wanted to give it an address to map into. Like this would be the start of the area that I want, but I don't care. I just want to, I just, you know, give me a chunk of memory that represents it. Because it, this is virtual memory, first of all, so it's not actually mapped into real RAM. And if I give it a possible address where I where it could be in it could be placed into either that's because I've pre-allocated it earlier 
Or if I give it some other thing, then it could act, maybe try to map it to an area which is too small and cause problems. So I don't care. Just give me whatever you know virtual address space is available. I need the size, the length of the data we want to map into memory. Um, file size, which I don't have yet. I don't want to, <clears throat> I could have for open, I don't want to have open in a food. Um, there has to be some other ability. Stat? Not too bad. Okay, yeah, this is going to give me stuff. I've, uh, okay. Do, 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 stat. Ah, uh, that's not what I'm looking for. POSIX. Stat. There's got to be. There's okay. It's gonna be a positive thing, isn't it? Sys. Stat. Let's call stat. Perfect. So this should give. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. The file and the buffer. So first of all, the file. File descriptor. No. Be the file in ci. Yaml. And it's going to be a struct stat. Do that. It's a pointer of that. It's probably going to return an int. It's probably true and false. Okay, so I've got file size. <clears throat> so I want like what stat data dot. Size. What else? What else? Protection flags. Um, this is what? Just protected read, I believe, in the moment. Uh, flags. This is like map private. So only it's just going to be for this application. File descriptor I have, which is FD, and I'm offsetting it from by zero. I'm only I'm mapping from zero, I think. Sign to went eight T from incompatible void star. That's because it's C plus plus. Do that, great. And then <clears throat> after all that's done, we want to like unmap it. So. <sighs> Unmap. <laughs> it's got to be a way. Mm, let me unmap. There we go. So that would be. So it's so it'd be the p data. And stat data dot st size, and then I'd close the file, right? Oh, perfect, great. Okay, let's give that a go. Oh, uh, hold on. And value equals that. This. Return value equals that, I believe. Let's do that again. Okay. Uh, I had stat data, which was 
10, 9, 7, 3. So first of all, you're going to not look correctly, are you? Where are you? Hold on. No return value is correct. That data dot ST size is 10, 9, 3, 7. Oh, right, right. F number three is the file descriptor, not anything else. So we got that. We got that. We're going to do this. So P data is going to be this, which is okay. Yeah, you can see that's the content global stages formatting Linux build, blah, 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 which looks eerily similar to this. So it's mapped this entire file into a memory that's about this or a bit large, probably a bit larger than that based on um, page size, I'll bet. And I'm not entirely sure, like, uh, it doesn't really, but, uh, it's not really my responsibility, but like it loads it in pages typically, I imagine. Well, it depends on, uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm not even going, I shouldn't even try to say anything. I don't know. But the files look available in memory. So I'm going to have to wrap this into some kind of uh, more uh, approach in a more approachable manner that can also be interchanged with other types. Uh, so, mm, right, that's that. By unmap, return value zero. Yeah, it's been uh, emptied out. Close that, return value zero. And then it goes on for the rest of the uh, program. That is good. So now it gets to the point where I have to, I'm going to be creating like almost like standard, like a shared pointer type in C, of course. That's C compatible, FFI compatible. Hmm. Okay, let me grab a bit of a quick drink before I launch into that. BRB. Yeah. So, um, uh, I should actually double check. What are the integer return values? Mm. M unmap. Uh, file devices into memory. Uh -huh. Let's return values, please. Return value on success returns a point with the map to the mapped area. On error, the value map failed, that is void star minus one, is returned, and error number is seven. Neg okay, negative one is the er is the error values for these. So I got to actually check for if you know. Or this too. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put that to the side and we're going to create something along the lines of I need a okay, I need as part of O core library. I need something that it's called like managed memory? Managed buffered memory, managed buffer. No, I mean the buffer is memory, managed memory. Hmm. I think that will work. Hmm. Managed memory. That, that, and that. Perhaps. Okay. Managed memory. I'm going to call it something like this for the moment. So I need a little bit of a that. It's just this year. Okay, I'm going to need some things that are part of that. Um, hmm. Do I need that? No, I don't. I just need to know.
as part of something like this, what I would need is mesh memory. No. Ah, oh, come on. I need to create it. So what uh, I need, like, no, I okay. I need result. I need a full result. Set V8 manage memory something like that, which will something I guess. Oh, so let's set. Get a handle. Oh, man, it no, mm, maybe. So define handle. I want to one that would both create file, something like that. Create a map file, which will be star manage memory, something like that. Star file, star file path. Which is currently only read only, which is fine. Do we want some code which will set something like that? I need some kind of like way to be able to read it, I guess. Maybe oh vantage memory vantage memory would I or could I kind of chain them together maybe hmm. I might be able to do that. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have managed memory. I have a struct, which would be something like this functions. Like, do I want to make a copy or something? Because I, I need to have some kind of mechanism. I basically much like before. I need mechanisms to be able to count, like count how many instances there are floating around, like incrementing and decrementing resources or resource create infos. So I do need that, and that's going to be based on like create. Of course, that's one, and destruction. You know, that's minus one. Barring other types that will try to do the same thing. 
that will be handled differently. Okay. I need to kind of start on this side as well. Okay. Damage. Memory man file. Because I just have to log. That. We're going to have this. No, here. Okay. Uh, one of the first things that has to be is, 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 it's going to have to be include load managed memory. It's going to be that, you know, uh, load managed functions. That's going to have to be the base. It's going to be a set of functions which are one or would I would it have to be I'm really Okay, whatever. I'm just going to, like, I'm not even going to bother with that right now. I'm just going to, like, I'm going to shrink it back down. I'm just going to be doing this. Man, uh, map to file. Memory. Map. File. And if I want to do something else later, I will. So do that, do that. So I got that. Uh, I need to do, like... Void star. So we, we pass that in and we get a void star star back. We will include the key. Data size, something like that for the moment. Just very basic, very, very, very basic. And I'll add to it later. Okay, so I need to include the uh, expanded link. H. I need to also include the. It's not going to have it. Will that have it? That. This. Okay, let's do that. So what's going to be happening in here? We're going to have these. These are going to be extern C, of course. Need to do what is it? Find handle tasks, which goes from map file to the old memory. Sorry. that okay great 
going to have a few things. First, in a file with the script for, we're going to have to read a atomic, which is going to have standard atomic. Uh, I don't even know why this is on in it. That. Instance count. Uh, void star, t beta, size t, beta size, buffer size, uh, whatever. Something like that. I'm going to require include. file system, and then here we go. So going back to the main here, if, okay. I wanna be able to open the file, get this information and map it, and then allocate this if I can get to that point. If not, then I don't allocate and I don't have to free it. So we basically get this stuff. Easy. Yeah, whatever. Do that. Equals negative one. Run the tap file. Uh, otherwise, we'll go into the here. Sat data, blah, 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 blah. Protected read. We're doing read onlys. It's private to just this application. The file descriptor, great. If t beta equals um, the negative one, right? What's supposed to return? Okay. Otherwise, we got to this point mapped. Um, From handle, um, file. Like I like I've said before, like I want this to be also capable of doing, you know, just general memory and stuff. But from now, I just need this. Not entirely happy with that, but I need return values. I don't have returnable values here, do I? That's not great. Hmm. Okay, if we're here, we got everything, then we can actually create
So all the script reads is FD. Uh, instance down equal one. And this will equal this. Long to size T. Really? Okay. App file to handle from readme. It's going to look like something like this. So that, that'll destroy it, and then. If we decrement it and it's zero, then we need to be able to destroy this stuff. So then we go through the process of Fosix return val. And sets error number. Okay, I need to start. I need to read that then. File descriptor. Just void. Getting out of this. Oh, I need to also uh, export. We mapped file. We got this. That's great. I all oh right. I need to return no results. Set. So catastrophic failure for now. I need to do this. Oh yeah. Um, memory map file H. That equals D map file.
Okay. First of all, make sure that's even on the file. Uh, then I can uh, rip this out of here, actually. Oops, no, I'm going at it. Okay. So now uh, at the importer location, so I need to actually not quite here. Uh, here for the importer. Close those. Bring this down, include that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to make changes for finding the external file. So it's not that, it is that instead. star returning that instead okay rolling on down to the source here for the importer.c we're going to that passing that through that okay we move up to here we're changing this so instead of returning this stuff okay let's just kind of scrap this entirely maybe Let's just let's okay. I don't care if I'm going to leak memory for the moment. Just just return it. So if okay, no, no. On the second pass, when we're here, build open the file and copy path. Copy the full path. Yeah. Go create memory map file, which is path C string. And we're gonna just, you know, um, copy memory map file. That's what we're returning. Uh, that, yeah, just that, okay. We're gonna be returning this a couple times. Not quite so great. Mm -hmm. Right, um, we're going to move the uh, building the tests for a moment. They're not going to be useful. So I'm here, I'm returning that, I'm returning both. Okay. Okay. Right. So it's going through group data, and the group data is returning that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm all right, so I already have it. So 
Run that out of here. Same thing here. This is of course going to mean I only have to go through this section once instead of having to go through the function twice, which is a nice little addition. That's great. No pointer if, okay, I need to do that. If If, I don't even need that thing. If that, then do it. Okay. Uh, group data, no pointer, then second one, that's correct. Same thing here. No pointer. Can I just find references? Go to references. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not very useful. Return or return. Static assert and fail due to requirement of this. All right. Some function in here is not returning nicely. I don't know which. Standard bind. Oh, here we go. Um, in application 287. Here. This external file search function is expecting Oh yeah, this is a real callback. This is old. Some real old stuff. Okay. Registration, that's great, because this is expecting All right. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Almost, whoa. Almost all the loaders are going to be looking at that. Okay. That's not great at all. So we have a mesh loader, we need to do the image loader. Material doesn't actually use it. Mesh does, shader will as well. Vertex descriptor is all internal, that's fine. Okay. Image. Do that. Oh no, it'll also be like down here, right? Somewhere down here, yes. Image loader. Mesh loader. Shader loader also. Yeah, this loading function is definitely a bit out of date. Not not well thought out, or it's just a holdover from the earlier days when I was still pretty much not knowing what I was doing. So that's what I, not what I want. This is what I want. So find the file path first. And 
file. It's usually internal to this. Okay, so this is actually still do pretty doable. As long as I keep track of it inside of here, in the loader, it's not so, not so bad, not as bad as uh, it could have been. Oh yeah, also three in the edge. Oh, from memory, perfect, does have it. Although it doesn't have like a length, so I really hope it's a well done thing. So, okay, we've got two things. So right now, let's just say, oh, not actually, it's not. Image, mesh. Comma star. And file. Comma. And file. Then we go down the shader, we're going to have here, comma that, uh, moving down to the file, and file, okay. There are any other locations, not really, that I can recall offhand. It'll find it for me anyways. Okay, simulation in here. Armature loader, yeah, okay, that would make sense. There you are. Go in here. Hmm. Really, we're doing the same thing. Oh, right, because yeah, okay, it's for each. I'm not entirely sure if uh, the kernel will actually, or the would it be the kernel? But whoever, like, I'm calling to, to map the memory is actually going to like much like uh, like when you do like deal open. You know, like if it detects it's the same file, it will just reuse the same mapping again and again, or not. I don't know. I'm hoping. Yeah, all right. We are binding, what was it? It's that, okay. Where is this group data? It does have that. Oh. God, 
standard find. Oh, yeah. That's not great either. I need to fix that up as well. But, in the meantime, please, just tell me you're going to work. Or compile. Then we can move on to checking if things work. So, are you going to crash? Yeah. No, maybe not. So we found a path. We're going to go inside. We're going to go inside. Great. Doing that. Oh, let's look for seven. Great. We're going to stat. Stat data is says it's ten nine three seven. Oh right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the wrong file. Whoops. Let's uh, let's do this correctly, shall we? Let's cancel that one. Let's say we're returning this. We have memory map file. Great. Ran. Okay, that's fine. We've got the stuff. Okay. Part two. Uh, loading, let's say shaders. That's the that's the simplest one I can really work with. No, no, because that doesn't have a memory. That's something I did. It doesn't it? Oh, maybe maybe that would actually just work fine. Because shader loader file path. I loaded the file literally by copying the stuff in, right? Yeah, I don't have to do this. If it's already loaded, if it's already, if it's literally memory mapped, then what I can do, literally do is shader code. This was what? This was a um, Data times size. So I already know that. So what I can do, I think, I think, I hope. Um, map file content. So we get the file. I'm going to go, hey, um, Uh, second argument. That. Okay, and then we get P code. And code size. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. This is uh, this is actually uh, wow. Yeah, okay. Running, giving around like um, some kind of like managed memory, whatever, is actually going to be easier to my mind than running around with um, array strings for locations. For a number of things. Rather than reading the file, copying it into memory, and then something like that, just let the memory, let the, I presume, I am hoping that the kernel is going to be more efficient or effective faster at mapping memory than I am at reading it and copying it into a second place in memory. Because then technically it's loaded in twice. Except it was. Okay. So we got that one. 
And then what I want to do is oh memory map. Destroyed. Memory map file file. Like that. Because right now it's going to be leaking. Same thing kind of here. I need to change this. I can get file type. I'll get it from file name. Because I'm not, not going to have the mem the uh, file itself anymore, right? Unless, oh no, get file type from memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. So I need what's it? Char? Is it char? Fi memory? Whatever. I'm hoping that this is actually just, yeah, yeah, just an empty struct. <laughs> Good. Um, That get the file on file name and then use the image load from memory. So in format by memory flags. So again. Uh, And then find the mesh, the more interesting one, uh, which is going, which needs a rework as well, because I don't really need this model and this detachment thing anymore. Since uh, the, the, I, I'd rather have the loaders like integrated into like this library point instead. Pretty sure, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll figure it out later. As an importer, include a metric cube importer here. I need to pass a memory. Or not. Is it because I have to literally, I'm just passing it in. Okay. Doing that, going over here. Import file from memory, p buffer. So it's just one. I don't know what the hints about. Can you give me? You don't know. Drop the flags, and then I don't know what this is about. Yeah. 
If it's given file from a memory buffer, if the call succeeds, the contents of the file return as a pointer to the AI scene object. Return data is intended to be read only. Okay. Ah, uh, p flag, p hint. An additional hint to the library if this is a non-empty string. Library looks for loader to support the file. Pass it the file to the first matching loader. This loader is unable to complete to completely the request, the library continues to try to determine file format on its own. Okay, so is the hint supposed to be that may actually have just be like the file path as the hint? Void star. Okay, what's wrong now? Out of line definition does not match any declaration in here. Are you sure? Pretty sure it does. Oh. I'm missing the file path. And then I roll back up to graphics resource, the mesh loader here, and all that's in there. Importer, okay. So I need to grab. These two, load memory next file. Okay. That data size and that. And then after we're all done here, I mean, when I go out of scope, which will be around here somewhere down here. So it would have to be, oh no, it's going out of scope there. Ooh, nasty. Um, I need to reset, get rid of it, then I can free up my memory. Oh no, because I'm leaving in so many locations. No. Okay. Uh, file is up here. If file, when I'm leaving, it's down here. If that, and then that file, file. Oh, right. Do I do the same thing here? I don't know. Get map. Do that, and then I need to code destroy. Memory map file, which is file. Not quite. Wait, I thought. Oh, 
Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mesh loader. I need this stuff. I load it and then I need the model loader dot re oh, if I return early then I'm screwed. I reset the model loader and then I free the middle close, uh destroy. The map file, which is file, that's right. I want to do the same thing here. Actually, no, I'm not screwed because I it wasn't loaded. So there's nothing to. Actually, no, I still need to free that. I map. I loaded the map map uh, the file into memory. Map. I map it in memory. Then I fail to load it, so I don't have to reset the model loader. But I still have to free up the file. Do the same thing down here. Okay. Get the size. Do 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 do. So like the, the, the good things of having like a unique whatever is actually getting in my way more so than uh, I would have hoped. Okay, does it actually load the meshes? Did I do all that correctly? Yes! All through memory map files now, which is great. And I am returning the path correctly as well. I still Okay, I still need to return the path. And use it for a thing for certain file checking things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rolling back to IMAX importer. First things first, I need to change this to, I still need a path, return both the path length and the path. That's still necessary. Some items do require the path to make, uh, to make, no, judgment calls? Not necessarily judgment, judgment calls, but, um, Would I? No, I don't need this path. I need the original path to be able to glean some information from the file name, but I don't actually need the actual path anymore. I don't need this. And I can just return the original. Because you can still glean the same information from the file. You know, it's typically based on the extension, like of the asset importer library or the pre-image it's it's trying to figure out what the file type is basing you know, off it's a dot blend it's a dot fbx dot png or whatever which it can grab for, get from the original file path not the modified one for where it is actually in the file system so that is reduced from there we do the same thing here which means we don't have to do these two which means Simplified, which is good. Library YAML source importer. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this stuff. If it exists, then it's successful. We find it. 
have this stuff. Okay, that's great. We want to return this. We don't need that anymore either. So the test, the pet. This is going on. Yeah. What, what am I reading? What did I do? Path. Path. Okay, these two are gone. One. Do we need to include that on the importer? No. This was, that was just a test. Okay, so this is some old test stuff. Path equals that. If exists, this is literally the exact same thing. Okay, so we can just do if exists that. Then we can do this. Dot string, dot c string. Run that. Yeah. Uh, right. Importer. That type is change. We no longer have that or that. Wait, no, we don't have this or this. Okay. Going back to this, that's going into there, that's fine. So we return that. <clears throat> Go back to group data. At this point, we no longer have path length or external file path. We're not returning path.data. What we, want, what we want to do is change it. So it's not returning this at all. That can also be modified away from file system. Yeah. So call result set. So now a uh, star e path this. Great. We'll run that to here. Is it P path? Or file path? P file path. I'll just kind of be specific and say file path. For the moment, p file path. Okay, we're passing p file path around. We're doing the same thing here. Path length is no longer a thing. Nor is that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If return result, we found it immediately. Don't have that. We don't have that. We just found it right off the bat. We're going to pass that in instead. Just return. Result equals that. We found it. We leave. That that's all that's necessary. Now we don't have to go in twice. So same thing here. These two are gone. This is key file path simplified. If that we don't do the pet uh, Anymore. Final path. <clears throat> Don't have that anymore. Okay. Sorry, uh, result. Okay. We're not returning that. We're going to return something that says, you know, file not found, I guess. Result. File not found. Um, uh, 
Is it an error? I mean, I guess it is. Whatever. Ah, flow simulation. Error. Content not found. It's not really like a file anymore. Cause it's just general. It's just a content of some sort. So that's what that's going to be. Content. We're going to put that in here as well. That. Wait. Found. We're going to be returning to Whoop. that. I think. Yeah. Uh, do I not have result? I do not. Okay, so if we found it, we return success, success, or we couldn't find it here. So then if we couldn't find it here, that mean, that implies you want to go uh, to the next one to search for it. Because you're just iterating backwards through, through the group data. And then if you go through all of them and can't find it, then you got a real problem. So let's uh, <clears throat> do this. Where else am I going to have a problem? I will basically, wherever this is called, which is in separate locations, no doubt. Such as an application, right? I've been here before. So, yep. Placeholders one and two. File pan, yeah, yeah. That looks about right. This, so move to here. That's it. A bit uh, time to format. Let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, all these locations. Right, the mesh loaders, or the loaders in general. So I just uh, do this. So result set. Uh, we're going to leave at several locations some errors because it's going to be yeah expecting something else instead so i don't really need this i need to check results equals result equals See, this is going to be this. That's great. This is looking for this. Okay, uh, back up to here. Um, how do I get out of here? If if it's I need to go to. Everything failed. That's fine. If we didn't fail load anything, then we don't have a file. So yeah, that should be safe. Should be. Results.
same little deal here. All right, uh, load shader from file. This just goes uh, boom. Load failed. If This is going to get changed up. That this goes away. loader uh, yep 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 I was missing this one that was just under the board so it's not great File, put that there, please. There we go. <clears throat> Up here as well, yes. Get rid of that. I'm not making any copies anymore. We're doing any weird stuff. Okay, lovely. Uh, let's see how bad memory leaks are. There are a few. That's pretty dang deep. Okay, I did what? I created this and I didn't free it at some point. Uh, let's have a look. From I'm exit border, find external file. That's right. Group data to the invocation of this, this, this. Come on, did I? Where did I invoke it? Process. Okay, in here. Curious. Is this just like every location? In the shader lo loader, I did this. Okay. Then I would have done stuff and then I would have. This is a closed system. I only pull in the thing once. So let's uh, see what's going on here. Pmap file instance count is one. I do this. I unmap the file. Zero. It's fine. It's unallocated as I would have expected. Really? I'm missing something. Oh, yes, I am missing something. I am a big old dummy. I'm freeing the file. I'm not freeing the actual like this. Just need to read that.
Excellent. So all that's left is stuff that's outside of my application, which I have no idea what they are. These are, these are probably to do with the Vulcan and well, address sanitizer rather than my application. That's great. So that's a memory map pile. Now I need to deal with the some with the um, uh, the the next abstraction layer, which is well the the one where I just can have a, just a managed memory buffer, or having multiple readers to the large binary file, basically one map file. I have one map file. And I have up to multiple readers on that mapped file. And only once all the readers are down and uh, whatever, then it can be safely destroyed, I think. So I'm going to grab a quick drink and ruminate on this. So BRB, and I'll hopefully have an idea on how to do that. Okay, so expanding this from just memory map file to just managed memory of some sort. Okay. So what I'm thinking is something along the same lines as uh, a resource here somewhere where when you create a resource, you can provide a size, perhaps? Or what's the resource create info? Hold on. I think this is it. Create resource info, external C, that's great. You go in, you have data that you pass in to start with, the size of the data you're passing in, and What's this? The function you use to copy or move the data in. And you'd also have a cleanup function. Okay. Yes, I can do this. So the first part of the area will be, so it's, so it's all, so we can still uh, compact it all down to one allocation where the first part of the allocation is like the actual implementation of the managed memory. And then you have bytes after this, which is the, the extra whatever. So in this case, it'd be like, you know, the file for mapped memory, it'll just literally be just the file descriptor. So I don't have to have an extra allocation that's just the size of the um, file descriptor. That is how I think I'm going to do this. And then, that means the only specialized piece of code that is public is just literally the create mapped, create mapped, uh, memory mapped file. That's it. Otherwise, the other the the getting of the content and the destroy is common base functionality. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Memory map, memory map file. That's fine. Memory dot h. Oh, and then I want to. Oh, yeah. I also want the ability to increment decrement use of the thing. So memory mapped file. Here we go. We're back here. So that should also be flexible enough for me to in add other definitions for. Uh, yeah, yeah, down the line I can add, I'm not exactly sure what, probably something to do with direct storage. I have no idea how that works, but I could imagine that it should be somewhat doable, maybe, maybe not actually. I don't know. Do not know. Whatever. Experience C. Yeah. If I don't know, then should I even bother right now? You know what? No, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to leave it like this. For the moment, I'm just going to add the increment decrement. And then I'll worry about it when I actually go back to the... the 
the binary importer in the next session. Right. But for that, I need the increment increment. I do need that for sure. If I try to implement the managed memory thing now, like I don't have, I, I need an actual ongoing use case for me to actually uh, properly figure out the edge cases. Of those two. Increment memory map file use, perhaps not. Decrement, I don't need. I just need the increment. Because the destroy will automatically do the decrement. Right? Or I just give it a destroy memory map file and just have dec increment and decrement. How do I do it for. Um... Resource create info. I have create. I have a destroy. I have increment and decrement. Okay. Do I literally just say if it equals zero, then I yeah, I, I do that. Hmm. That sounds like it's wrong. Realistically, it should be implemented within that and be part of an automatic mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, let me grab out my notebook and make a note of that. This is the wrong notebook. Notebook. Here we go. Instead of set shit. Okay, yeah, so just we're just gonna roll with increment and decrement. And we'll get rid of the destroy. The destroy will be part of decrement now. So that that get rid of that by inside of here. Return plus plus we map file instance count. Sorry, what? Win thirty two T, is that yeah? Count equals. Minus, minus that. OK. 
count equals that, then we're going to be doing this. Uh, whoops, nope, 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 nope. Delete that. That's gone. Okay. That should say, yeah, if I follow that, that should, should simplify management of this stuff a little bit. So let's go find locations where I use that. that there we got this here every map to file to use That's going to work. No memory leaks. Excellent. Okay. You know what? Do I have time? I, st I actually do have time. I am actually going to do the managed memory thing. Memory, that. Um... Okay, we're going to have that. We're going to have include four four H. We can include that. Uh, the other side of it here. Getting these three, that's how it works, plus the handle. Not that, oh. Manage memory, so got this, manage memory. One, two, three. Okay. Export, export, export. So that's going to mean that all that's left here is going to be that and we're going to have full result set and memory so we're going to have Much like where is for resource? Okay, close everything else, close the others, and go down to res uh, resource. Create info, which is the template I want to use. So, we've got a type def for the cleanup function. Ooh. Void star p function. Oh. Takes a void star. Of 
What would it? Hmm. Yeah, vo just void star, whatever. The the met the stuff you have is basically what it's going to be. Stuff you have, uh, full result set. So we need to. There's no type. There's just a p function. Uh, get out of that. Cleanup function. P data. Size p data size. It means we need to include standard def dot h. I presume. How that's rolling. That that. This data function. What was the point of it? That was doing copy stuff, right? That was to allow for moving, because I have so much C++ stuff flying around. Right? Yeah. Do I need that today? I don't, I don't need, okay, I don't need it yet. I'm not going to add it. Okay, got that, so. Memory CPD, that's great. So let's skip this, do that, flip it around. Managed memory. Managed memory, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to be uh, these two things. Size T, data, data size. Uh, we'll have standard atomic blah 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 for the instance count. I don't know, I think that's it. The other stuff will be afterwards. Okay. Atomic, great. I could assess that. Passes around, okay, extern see this. Oh, yeah, the uh this. Clean up function. So the memory map uh, file is going to call is going to do its thing. Then it's going to call into this, passing this stuff in. Data. Ooh. Um, data size. Ah. Uh, hmm. Pointer data, data size. Um, I need what? So this will be the implementation stuff. That. So let's get this stuff around a little bit. Something closer to that, I think. P data, data size, the extra stuff. Okay. equals malloc of size of 
advantage. Memory plus the limitation size. And we, you know, We'd be out of memory in that case, so we'd return, or abort in this case, equals this. Pretty sure that's how it's working in here. Let me just double check. <laughs> Something like that. Here. So then we create the new stuff in place. Where dot data data dot size data size. Dot instant count one. Oh, I can't do that because the uh, right? maybe, 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 maybe I can. Cleanup function equals cleanup function. Okay. 64, 64, 32, 64. Okay. Well, that stuff. So I need basically a copy of this. It's going to get the raw internal data. Managed memory, which uh, That void const. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with no except. It's pretty trivial. We don't even need that. We just need to return p dash that plus the size of this. That plus 32 bytes. Is that really the size? Yeah. And copy uh, to the destination, which is this. E new managed memory. Got the implementation data. Uh, implementation data size. Modification to that. So, what's your problem? Do you think it's a uh, fine? Okay. Then we copy the implementation data into the back end of whatever this allocation was. So that should mean we should be basically good to go to return the stuff. Yes. to handle from P like that and return that great the other
These three items don't belong here anymore. They belong here. It's a new management. Look at that. Look at that. Um, hmm. this is actually something that goes in here. Void. Um, that great so what's going to happen is we've done all that so then at this point it's not that it's managed memory now <laughs> these are gone Neo Mori. Okay, got that, got that. That's all that is left here, isn't it? Yeah. We got that. So memory map file is going to be returning a bit. So at this point, we want to result set equals almost. Uh, I need to. I need this memory map file equals not file descriptor, not instance count, not this or this. These two. I don't know. File descriptor equals that. So we'll get rid of this. We don't need this. We don't need that. We just need these things. P data and that. Uh, we don't have that anymore. What? The instance count is gone. That's gone. Oh, result set result equals oh PA man, uh, managed memory. It's going to include the pointer to this guy. We're going to have e data uh, stat data dot st underscore size. And key managed memory. Oh, no, no, no. That's. Incorrect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, key mapped file. It's not that anymore. Anyways, it's that. Oh, we pass in this of uh, key map file moment. Not great. Do that. Okay. 
this is all the stuff we have. It's that way. Great. Back to the uh, this. So that's the end. That's not quite the end. Just need to pass in that. Out of that, and then I want the IP data. It's that data that's twenty four size. That's what I'm passing in. That's great. So what's going on here is probably the first thing to function, right? No, no, yeah, yeah. Please just automatically convert it to you. Or, you know what? That. No, 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 no. Just, it's it's void, right? It's supposed to be void star, so let's just do that. results oh yeah if not equal uh, full success then we need to do clean up memory map file of this so we clean that up we go back here. We are not. We can't do delete. So we do the cleanup and then we delete. How do I do that? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We manage memory equals. Um, uh, that if there's even anything to do and then we free then when you get out of here return to the count now close is just missing because I don't know why well, okay don't have that anymore. All right. File system. Yep. File system is just gone. Close. See close. Why do I have the ability to open files but not close them right now? F close. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Close. Okay, here we go. Uni standard. Okay, and then where do I get standard abort from? C standard lib. Really? Really? I guess. <sighs> All right. So it's not that anymore. It's full mem managed memory. Do 
managed memory. Place all those, let's go. It's not managed memory anymore. It's not even here. You're getting it from somewhere else. Okay. Is it from here? Are you getting it from here? What did I name it? Ah, uh, yeah. Do that, manage memory. Damn it, I have a terrible name. That, that, and then that, okay. That's one, I'm gonna do it here as well, somewhere down here. That, that. Emily. from here, isn't it? That, and then that. Go get memory managed data. Uh, 
Okay, what's wrong here? Get memory managed data. That could be correct. And I don't know why. Overloaded? Is it now? Use of undeclared identifier. This. Are you sure? Memory managed data. Oh, uh, it's backwards. Dyslexia. Here we go. Oh, just leave armature, right? Yep. No, importer. Now it'll just leave the armature stuff. Yeah. File, find file, file, file. This one, however, does indeed require memory map. File. You were supposed to. Yes. Okay. I did. Oh crap! I didn't. Uh, uh oh. I didn't stage the halfway changes. Whoops. Decrement managed memory use. Okay. Did I just not add the source file? No. Please work. No! Okay. So what's going on? Somewhere in here, okay, in here I'm malloking that, okay. And then what's happening is it's allocating even more? Okay, hold on. Maybe it's just not allocating quite enough. And that's the problem. Here, I'm allocating this plus implementation data size, 24. So, bunch of stuff, that's great. Get out of here. We're doing new managed memory. Okay. 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 Nope, that did not work at all. We've got a bad free. It's got a bad free. Interesting. Uh huh. 
back out of that. We're here. Great. We're turning out. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're getting a bad free of some sort. Why? Where exactly? Not a good example, are you? Okay, there in the memory map file in here. Right. Yes, correct. You are no longer responsible for that. Okay. Does it? Leak. It doesn't leak anything else. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, in this session, uh, all I'm going to do offline is just like uh, create some result error codes for these cases. And probably some logs to help uh, keep track of this stuff. Maybe, I'm not sure if I really want to log this stuff this will be really a lot of stuff but i need i need result codes i'll do that offline it's, it's really boring it's really obvious what i'm going to do as usual for those things so yeah and then uh, next time i should be able to go back to the importer or would it be the importer yeah yeah i think so Go back to the I'm gonna go back to the binary importer with this stuff. Probably need a slight another version of like managed memory of some sort, another variant. But this should like really let me uh move forward with this. So yeah, until next time, cheers.